Hello! Here's a very quick physics nugget involving a rubber band. There's the rubber band there. I'm going to stretch it. 200 grams. The rubber band extends. It doesn't obey Hooke's law like a spring, but it definitely extends. Now, I'm going to note that uh, that bottom end of the uh, band is at about 540 mark on the ruler. I'm going to stretch the band some more with this thing here. 900 grams. Um, there we are, it's extended further. This is now at about the 700 millimeter mark here. Um, one interesting thing about rubber bands is when you unload them, they don't unstretch in the same way that they stretch. If I unload that, that's now only at the 640 millimeter mark. Um, essentially, the band doesn't do so much work in contracting as it does as you have to do on it when you stretch it. Um, because some of the mechanical work that you do when you stretch it is converted to thermal energy, or as we might now say, you know, it goes into the thermal store of the band. Um, so it will go back more or less to its original length when we unload it completely, but the loading curve is different from the unloading curve. But what you can do is you can put some energy in. We can heat the rubber band uh, using this hairdryer and when we do so we'll see what happens. Ooh. I hope you can see that. The rubber band is contracting. This is now more like at the 580 millimeter mark. We've put energy in, the heat has been made to do some mechanical work. Um, if you want to look at it on a microscopic scale, uh, Richard Feynman has a lovely video on YouTube, uh, which I'm going to try to link to, uh, which explains what's going on at a microscopic perspective. But this is a lovely demonstration to show your class after doing an experiment stretching and unstretching a rubber band and uh, the thing is that you just have to experiment to find the the right combination of rubber bands and weights i've found that using quite a thin rubber band is quite good because then you can heat it easily with a hairdryer you don't have to use a match or anything like that um, in the past i've accidentally set fire to rubber bands like that so hairdryer is safer and then you can then get away with not using too much mass on the load um, and it's, as you see, it's, it's quite dramatic. It's an unexpected thing. It's a, a, a good um, uh, kind of counterintuitive thing to, to, to show your class there. And they hopefully, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll be quite surprised. Enjoy.